problem that architects have when building or remodeling is creating some continuity between the garage door and the front door. We're going to be visiting a place that tackles that issue head on. That's because they build both garage doors and entry doors here using the same styles and materials to achieve what they call architectural harmony between those elements. What, what do you guys do here that differentiates yourself from, let's say, a typical garage door company? Well, what we really like to do is take the design from an architect or a home builder or uh, a homeowner and create their vision. We like taking them from a rough drawing and getting them out to the shop floor and getting them built. Ones that allow us to match the stain of the house, the mutton pattern of the windows, and the overall design of the home integrate into the door, both the garage door and the entrance door. We love those projects. Kind of sounds like what we gave you. Yes, it's a nice project. Before any construction takes place, of course, a designer like Robert Dopp gets involved to translate door orders into shop drawings that will indicate exactly how they should be built. The components of a shop drawing will include uh, all the millwork specifications, um, finishing specifications, cross sections. We give a, a two-page detailed drawing of every single door that gets manufactured in our shop. All right, well, it's going to be curious to see how it works once we get out there. All right, good luck. Mark Lundgren is going to walk us through the shop area and give us an idea of how they put doors together here. Now, there are two separate areas, one for assembling garage doors and one for assembling entry doors. And they both start with selecting the wood that will be needed. So Mark, for a high-end door like this, selecting the wood, that's kind of a big deal. What, what are you guys looking for? Yeah, we're looking for uh, old growth western red cedar, uh, mainly sorting out for tonal variations. So we've got our sapwood and our heartwood. So looking for certain tones for staining, you might go with the lighter, you might go with the dark. So once you get all the wood selected, what's the next step? Uh, next step is uh, getting together uh, some of our frame materials. So how we'll do that, we'll start by taking our, our raw frame materials into our straight line rip saw. We use this piece of equipment to dimension it down to prep it for our milling operation and our five head molder. That will surface the, the two faces and then put a profiled edge on it depending on the profile we need. Those will get stored in a supermarket rack for the next station, which is our frame cutting, our upcut saw. Uh, so we'll cut our rails and styles to length. And that will move on through our end milling process. So we just use shapers and a sled to end mill the parts to meet up with our cope and stick joinery. Now we've been looking at the framing side of the door. The same thing happens with all the millwork, the skins that's going to cover the door. All the millwork goes through all the same machines, they get stacked in these racks. Once these are all milled up, then we combine the millwork with the framing materials and it's on to assembly. This is our first assembly station, we call it a frame assembly. Uh, so we're taking our rails and styles we just cut to length and a pocket hold, putting in our frame clamp and gluing and screwing the components together. From there we'll take it out of the clamp, uh, check it for squareness, check the dimensions, make sure it's on spec. That completes it in that work cell, then it moves on to what we call face material assembly. At that station is where we apply our tongue and groove materials over all of the individual door sections. How's it going, Joe? Hey, excellent. So what Joe has done is taken the bottom three panels and he's laid the cedar out over the top of that pretty much nailing it down like hardwood flooring and then eventually these panels get cut again so they'll operate like a regular garage door. The beauty of doing it this way is once the garage door is closed and you're looking at the front, all this cedar will line up perfectly. Once the face material is applied, everything is routed flush to the frame. They also route one other groove into the face material near the bottom edge of the panels for a drip edge. After we've assembled the frames and the face material of the door, we're on to trimming the door. We use stainless steel screws and glue to fasten the boards down. After the exterior trim is applied, a piece of beveled trim is cut, glued, and nailed into place. This will help prevent water from getting in behind the face trim and damaging the door. Uh, once we're done with that process, we move on to cutting the door apart. Remember back in framing, we assembled the door in sections. Then we built the door as one solid unit. Now we're gonna cut it back into sections in the cutting process. After cutting, we're gonna insert polystyrene insulation and add the plywood over the top. And then we've gotta cut it one more time uh, to get the door back into sections. So why would somebody weigh one of these sections? All right, well, we weigh our doors so we can determine the proper operating spring. Very critical because we've got about a 10 pound threshold uh, to get the correct springs for it. So once the sections are weighed, you have the hardware on, what's it take to finish everything up? Um, after that, we move it on into our sanding process to prep the door for finishing. 
in finishing, we apply our, uh, our paint or stain to the door, allow it to dry, then it moves on to glazing, to wet glaze our glass into the door section. Then the last thing we'll do is put it on our inspection rack for a final inspection before packaging. Okay. Well, once everything's been inspected and approved, they get it all packaged up, add the hardware, get it ready for shipping, and folks, that is how you make a good-looking garage door. Now, it's a slightly different process for entry doors, so let's give it a quick look and pick it up with the next step right after all the wood's been selected. So let's talk about the differences between making, putting a door together as opposed to a garage door. All right, well, first you start with uh, rails and styles. We have that in our garage doors, but difference with the entrance doors is how the rail and style is constructed. We have a, a stave course, so if you look at a part, you'll see all these little strips uh, lined up with the grain running vertically. Those are all glued together, and then we also finger joint those parts for stability, and we'll mill it and we'll laminate that, so it's kind of like an engineered wood component. Now once that glue sets up, this is what you end up with, something that's uh, relatively rough. They run that through a planer, and this is what creates the stave core. It's nice and smooth. Now they'll take this, they'll cut this down, and sandwich it in between two finished pieces of wood. Very structurally strong, and when you get done milling that, here's what you end up with for your rails and styles. Very nice. From there, you're into uh, your joinery where in the overhead doors we're using uh, pocket holes and screws, but in the entry doors we're using wood dowels and glue. Uh, from there it's onto the face material, that's the next difference, and it's a floating panel that allows for the material to expand and contract so you don't get a cracked panel in your door. The assembly of a door, um, we're going to still use uh, waterproof glues and dowels, so you're going to glue all your components. Um, fit them together and then they'll go into a frame clamp and clamped until the door is dry. So start to finish our garage door take how long would you say? Uh, I'd say you know it goes over about a two-week process. About a two-week process, yep. okay. Well I gotta tell you, you guys do an absolute great job here. I can't wait to see these doors kind of hanging in our own openings there. So all right. thanks so much for doing thanks this. Appreciate lot. the tour. Now the doors are all assembled, finished and ready for installation. We'll be